This video covers how do we count the number of relations on different types of relations like reflexive, reflexive, symmetric and so on. Uh, let's take a set. Uh, set S has 1, 2, 3 and so on n elements. Now if I form a reflexive relation on this I need to know how many such possible relations are there. So for this, uh, let me form a matrix. One, two, n, one, two, three, so on, n. So we will be having many elements. Just think for a second uh, what is reflexive. In reflexive, it says that the diagonal elements must be there. Now these must be chosen and all other elements you have a choice. You can either pick up them or not. So if I need to know how many ways we, I can pick up these elements, first I need to count them. So what I'll do First think of uh, what are the total possible relations. Here we have n elements, here we have this is n by n. So total number of elements in this is n square. So total relations is each has two possibilities, either I can pick it up or not. So 2 power number of element is n square. This is total relations. But in reflexive, these are guaranteed that I'll be picking up. So only other elements, we have a choice. So in that n square, we will remove this particular diagonal elements. In diagonal, we have n elements. So when we subtract this, these many elements, those are this and this, have a choice. Either you can pick it up or not. So the number of reflexive relations is 2 power n square minus Now what about irreflexive? Irreflexive says that these elements should not be there and all other elements you can you can pick up whichever you want. In this uh, you need to ignore this you should not pick up the diagonal elements and you can pick up any other element so which is again same. So irreflexive is also same 2 power n square minus n. So that is this is reflexive plus irreflexive. Now think of symmetric. So for this again, let me think of a matrix. One, two, so on, n. One, two, and so on. So symmetric says that uh, if you pick up an element over here, you should also pick up an element over here. If you pick up here, you have here. And diagonal elements, you can pick it up. So either you pick up elements of lower half triangle or upper triangle. So for convenience, I'll think that I'm trying to pick up these particular elements. So if I pick up this, it automatically implies that I'm also taking this particular element. If I'm taking this, it means that this. So if I count how many elements will be there in this lower triangle, those elements have two choices. Either you pick it up or not. So let's count this. In the first row we have one element. In the second row we have two elements. Third row we have three. And if we go to the last row, we have n elements. Now when I add up all this, one plus two plus three, so on till n, this is n into n plus one by two. So these many number of elements have a choice either to pick it up or not. So two possibilities two possibilities and number of elements is n into n plus 1 by 2. Now how about anti-symmetric? For this let me take again a matrix. 
Now, anti-symmetric says that uh, you can pick up the diagonal elements. So, how many diagonal elements are possible? There are uh, n elements. So, all these elements have two choices. Either you pick it up or not. So, 2 power n possibilities are there. Now, think of all other elements. Uh, if I have an element 1, 2, either I can take this or maybe I can take 2, 1 or I can take none of them. So, three possibilities are there. This or this or this. So, there are three choices and how many such elements are there? Now, count either this or this. Let, let me count the lower triangle. For convenience, let me take the whole of this. From this lower triangle, if I remove the diagonal elements, that is minus n, it becomes uh, n into n minus 1 by 2. So these many elements have three choices. This is n into n minus 1 by 2. So that's anti-symmetric. 2 power n multiplied by 3 power n into n minus 1 by 2. Now asymmetric is again same. Uh, from this, we are not supposed to pick up the diagonal elements. So, this has to be removed. So, this will be 3 power n into n minus 1 by 2. Now, coming to transitive, this is pretty complicated. It's a hard problem and there is no specific uh, way of calculating it. So, we can just ignore this.